Hi, this is James. In this video, I'll talk about the concept of backlogs in Favreau and mainly what the purpose of them is. Depending on how you manage your work in Favreau, backlogs can be used in a couple of different ways. If you're a fan of simple everyday to-do lists to check in on, this is easily done. You can even break down tasks into categories or hierarchy by using the checklists on the left side and then indenting them or outdenting them using the blue bar at the bottom. Another common use of backlogs is to plan and break down tasks before they are ready to be worked on. This is perfect because you can take the pre-planned tasks, drag them over and commit them to a board. Now the columns act as the various stages within your workflow. And if you've added the relations column to the backlog previously, you can actually look back to see in exactly which boards and columns your cards live in. This is invaluable for planning and tracking your cards. Even better is that you don't only have to have one backlog. As you can see in this one I have at the top, I have my daily to-dos broken down as well as the research goals. Although in a completely different backlog, I have my weekly to-dos also broken down and I can drag these across to my work board and then keep track of them by using the same relations column. This has been a quick introduction to the concept of backlogs, how they can be used and how you can break tasks and goals down before you even think of committing to them and working on them. Good luck with Favreau.